the reef system's like the rainforest of the ocean, you know, yeah. like it's the, it, it supports 30% of the fish life. Um, Daryl, this is an amazing chat, man. As, as we, we talk, new things come to my mind and I just want to go back a little bit to the thing that we were talking about, the nets and like protecting the seas. Um, I remember in that movie, they were talking about the reefs how important they are and yep. like we, we we're damaging them and, and, and not understanding what what are the what's the importance of, of keeping the reefs safe so the, for our seas the reef system's like the rainforest of the ocean you know yeah. like it's the uh, it, it supports 30 of the fish life come out of these reefs and support all the little little fish feed off the bigger fish and everything sort of sustains itself and the coral reefs itself you know they they're producing And they also like the rainforest of the ocean. So if, if we're killing these things off, um, some of it's happening naturally with, mm -hmm. with the warming and the, the bleaching of some of these stuff. So um, it's, it's very hard in that sense. But if we can control a little bit of it, I know in Australia they're doing big projects where they're closing off areas of the Great Barrier Reef to work on it. There's ways of trying to reproduce coral and grow stuff. Yep. It takes us two seconds to smash a piece off that takes 300 years to grow. Yeah. Wow. So it's a it's a long process to cycle that, to fix that. Um, I know when they first started doing trips over there in the 50s and 60s, they would give you reef shoes and you would just walk all over the reefs on low tide and have a look at the little fish in the pools. And this was just destroying the reefs. Yeah. That was, but that's what it was back then when the tourism... They didn't have information enough. Yeah, maybe. they didn't know, yeah. right? So um, that's all changed. Um, there used to be a lot of a lot of that sort of activity went on as the tide went down, and it would create all these beautiful fish pools yeah. with all these really rare and crazy coloured fish, right? So everyone just walks around the reef and has a look. But um, that's gone, and uh, they're adjusting their processes. So hopefully, we can we can educate enough to to sustain some of it anyway. You know. Yeah. So. Nowadays, there's so much uh, talk about the, the, the sea rise levels, right? Some people, well, I think no one can say that it's not happening, right? We, we, we can see that it's happening. I think the, the, the argument is usually, oh, this is, this is happening because of the earth and that's what's happening, you know, and things are changing. It's a natural process. And some other people will say, no, we're causing it. We, we, we're making it happen and it, that's not good. Do you have a take on that? And, <laughs> and ah, you don't have to answer, but I. <laughs> but just because you are out there, you know, like you, you've been seeing these changes for so many years. So like, even if you don't want to get in the, in the discussion, but like you can see it, right? So, do you want to see if your wife's commenting at all? Yeah, <laughs> all right. that's all right. <laughs> I can look after myself. But um, no, I, I do believe. Yeah, look, something's going on. The waters are warming up. There's different stuff going on. It's it's affecting everything. So. Part of that's our population base. There's all sorts of things. I drive a, I, I drive a diesel truck. Yeah. You know, and I can't see myself getting in a little electric thing very quickly in a, in a hurry, right? So that's there's certain things we can change and certain things I think we've got to look at the bigger picture on. Um, I also love meat, right? So they're, they're big things, dairy at the moment, and yeah. a lot of my customers are farmers and I love their product. So um, we've got to work all that out as well, but mm. I, I believe we're on the right path and, and looking at, at least we're aware of it. Um, yes. 10, 15 years ago, you were a total freak if you had these ideas. Now it's sort of mainstream, right? So we're, I think we're on the right track, whether we're fast enough, who knows, you know, but, um, everyone wants to live by the ocean and I want to live by the ocean too. Right. So, yeah. If I can't afford a house on the beach, buy one, one back, and one day it'll be the beachfront, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the theory. But, um, <laughs> there's always options, but I don't know. Um, <clears throat> it is something that yeah, we, need to, we need to look at and consider and, and, and take that moment, you know, if we can share, do our little piece, you know, pick up some of that rubbish, recycle, drive a car, shared pool stuff, you know, mm. walk rather than drive. If we can do our little bit, the electric stuff's happening, but how much can we can we do? Yeah. Um, if, if as a country, if we do a little bit, then and everyone does a little bit. Yeah. Should be. It's got to help, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and and I feel like that's the problem. Sometimes people are just too pessimists. You know, it's kind of like, oh, but it's 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 ruins anyway. And you're like, well, each little thing yeah. helps so much. Hey, eh? like it's the everyday things that will actually absolutely make it's a ruined big anyway. Change, must right? carry on ruining it. It's like, no, you can just stop. Yeah. No, yeah. But look, and you, and you look at that, like there's been a lot of change in the last 
10, 15, 20 years, especially with social media and the way things yeah. have been um, shown. Like, let's say 10 years ago, no one even knew about this stuff. And it was some, some crackpot dude with a tin hat on that mm. was talking about it. Now it's sort of a bit more mainstream and, it, and more people are aware of it. And, and if everyone can do their little bit and think about stuff, yeah. the recycling, you know, the, the waste. The, yeah, if you were worried about the, like, <coughs> nature, you were a hippie. It was yeah, crazy. It yeah. was. It was real it was a really, really staunch sort of yeah. crazy group over there, you know? Yeah. That's that was my opinion anyway. And that now it's it is a, it's mainstream. So. And it's something with the generations as well, right? Mm. I think when you are a child and you get some of that information, it makes sense that you will grow yeah. and act on that. You know, like like you were saying, Oh, fifteen years ago, you know, like there was the reef walk. And nowadays, if you tell a teenager that, they will say, what the fuck? What yeah. were we doing? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think what's happening now, oh, with the rubbish, the plastic, for, for these children will be much more common in 10 years. Yeah. We're like, nah, look what we're doing. Like, yeah. look at what mom and dad were doing 15 years ago. That was ridiculous. Yeah, you know, they like, were so, making the reef. Yeah, so like yeah. trusting that the generations... But that's still history, right? So I don't... Uh, and there's, you know, there's no point trying to erase that stuff and, yeah. and destroy it ah. and take Just it away. Leave it. Carry on. Yes. Leave it there. You know, some of the monuments and some of these things, that, that all the different things that have gone on in the past, that it, it's happened. Yeah. You yeah. can't change it, right? That, exactly. We can change the future and let's, let's work with that rather than, you know... Yeah. You just watched to an old base show clip. If you want to watch the full show or if you want to see us live, subscribe to our YouTube channel and get notifications about our live streams. We do it three times per week, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 7 p.m. And if you are more of a listener, go to altbase.nz to find out on which main podcast platforms we're on. Peace.